Hi, this is Mrs. Benjamin, and this is a video about how to make a website for your capstone project. So you're going to start at the top of um, any website, and the address that you'll go to is sites.google.com. And before you hit enter, make sure that there's nothing um, automatically attaching after that. that. That was all that it says on the top there. And then hit enter, and it will take you to a site that looks something like this. And the first thing you do is you click the red create button and we're going to choose new sites. The classic sites is the older version. It's a little bit harder to use and the sites just don't look as modern or as kind of fresh. They're a little clunkier. So we're going to use new. And then here is your website. And at the top here, this is what the site document name is going to be, and we'd like you to call it Capstone 2019, and then your name. I'll put my name in there. Um, make sure that you're capitalizing things correctly, please. And then right here on the page where it says your page title, that's where you can um, title your project. So I'm going to skip over to um, a project that I started as an example over here. So if my project is the history of education, um, I'll type my title in there. And then the first thing you can do that's kind of fun is to change the background image. Um, you can upload one from your computer or you can select an image. Um, Google has a bunch in a gallery here that are very nice. So let's say I pick this one just to see what it looks like. Very nice. You can also change the header type to be larger or smaller, or you could take it out completely. And then this page is going to be the um, like the landing page, the home page of your site. So this is the place where you will have your um, introduction writing, your kind of like welcome statement, your hook your background, this is where you're getting your reader interested in your topic. So what I did down here is I went down to insert and I chose one of these layouts over here. I picked this one. Um, and if you watch, I can do it again underneath. I just click that there and it adds in a place to type and a place for a picture. If you click picture, it's the same thing. You can choose from any um, image on the internet, from things on your drive. You can even put in a video there. And if you don't like what you insert, it's easy. You could just click delete, uh, delete. Um, once you have a section there, you can play with the colors for it. You can change it to be kind of like a darker theme or a medium or just regular. You can even have a background, but be careful with that because you want to make sure that your um, text is easy to read. So um, in addition to choosing from those layouts, you can also simply insert a text box by clicking text box there and you can um, change the you know if you were going to have a heading um, this would be like the section heading and then underneath it is the normal text and this is where you can type 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 or copy and paste i'm going to delete that so the insert menu is what lets you stick things onto the page um, the pages menu is where you actually structure your website. So um, our home page is this main one that says history of education. And then each of these pages are the different sections in um, the, my subtopics in my feature article. So the way I made those, I just click the, the plus button. I click new page, you give it a title. So the first, oops, I don't actually need that one. Hello, I'm going to delete it. The first one that I made for my project about education would be about education in ancient times. And this creates a whole new page. So you could do the same thing you did on the first page, change the image, put the title up here. Um, you can, here is where I put um, one of those text boxes that was back here, the text box. And you'd copy and paste your text right in there. Um, you could also, what did I put here? One of the one of these guys, you could have a bunch of pictures with um, uh, captions at the bottom. I'm going to go back to pages over here. Another section in my project is medieval and early modern. 
but schools in that time period. Um, and here I have a, this is a regular text box. I did insert text box over here. And then I did insert in an image. And that's what showed up over there. And it even gave me an option to, um, to add a caption. Going back to my pages over here, each one of these pages has its own um, title. I didn't put any text on this one, but I can easily do that. I just go to insert. Um, I'll do a text box. I might begin with a heading. Uh, um, and then underneath it, I copy and paste my writing from this section. If I insert an image, I can select one. Uh, I can go right to the internet. Hmm. Here's where you can add a caption. Now watch this. I've got my text box up there. I can, I think, pull, oops, oh my gosh, what is that? I can pull it right in there. I can change the size. It adjusts around it. So there's a lot of flexibility with what your layout can look like. Um, over here, now I'm going to show you a couple more things. Um, so if you click this uh, navigation circle, it gives you an option to have top navigation, where it puts your different pages on the top, or side navigation. And that's where the sidebar pops out from the side with the pages. Um, you can also um, put your pages in a hierarchy. So if I drag this guy, if I drag it into home, these all become like a, um, oh, I want to put them back in order. Ah, watch this. I'm going to undo that. Ancient times, medieval, there we go. Um, if I do it that way, then, um, and I switch it to top navigation, then all of those sites come in a drop down menu that way. So um, whenever you want to catch a glance of your website and see what it looks like um, without that bar over here on the side, you just click preview and it shows you what the site looks like. And you can click around. Let's see. So here's my menu. So you can really see what your um, what it looks like. And then when you're done viewing it, you just click exit preview and it takes you back to the editing page. Um, adding, uh, sharing with others here. This is what lets you um, uh, invite people to help you work on it. We're not going to be doing that right now. Um, but when you're finished, the publish button is what lets you, um, what makes it public and available for everybody. So um, you can publish and publish again. It doesn't, you can publish it and then go back and change things and publish it again. Um, the thing with websites in general is that the best way to learn how to do it is just by clicking around and playing. Anything that you do that you don't like, you can always undo. Um, you can't really make a mistake. Oh, I forgot to show you themes. Over here, themes, this is the basic layout and how you want it to look. So if you change the theme, it changes what the font looks like throughout the whole thing. Um, so like you could see that I had my whole website made, yet I could still play with the themes. You could change up the colors. Um, I guess I don't know why the colors aren't changing there. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice too. So 
like I was saying, there's so much to play with, so much to change, and uh, it's just a matter of finding what you like. You really can't make a mistake. So good luck with your websites, and I can't wait to see what you create.